So this is I'm Stuck, and in this video we are looking at differentiation. So last video we looked at differentiation from first principles, but this time it's a much easier method where we can differentiate a function much easier. So the first major principle is we need to know that when f of x is equal to ax to the n, then f dash of x, which is the derivative of f of x, is n a x to the n minus 1. Now, that may sound slightly difficult at start, which is why we need to put it into a question. And here we have, when f of x is equal to 6x squared, what is the derivative of 6x squared? And here we know that n is going to be equal to the power. So n is there is equal to 2. So then we can put that at the start, which is going to be 2. Then a is this 6 here. So that's can be 6. And that's to the x. And then it's n minus 1, which means that that is simply going to be 2 minus 1, which is going to be to the 1 which means that that can simply be 12x. Now the next thing we need to know is that when you um, have two things added together, you basically find a differentiation of each and then add those together. So here we have f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 4x plus 8. So now we need to find out the uh, derivative of 2x cubed. So we'll just do that 3 times 2 is equal to 6x. And then 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So 6x squared. Then the next one is going to be 4 times 1 because that is just 4x to the 1. So that's simply going to go to 4 because 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So it's just 4. And then 8 is going to cancel out on this. So it's simply just going to be 6x squared plus 4. So here now are a few questions. And the first one is y is equal to the root 3 of x squared. Now, first of all, we need to know a way of rewriting this to make it easier to differentiate. And the way we'll do this is simply by making it all to x. And this means that this one can equal to x to the two thirds. That's because it's being squared, but it's also um, to the root of three. Now, <clears throat> here we have to differentiate it after this. And to differentiate a function by y, we'll just put dy by dx. And therefore, it will follow exactly the same pattern as we were doing earlier on. So this means that we'll do the 2 thirds, which is the n, times by the a. So that's 2 thirds x. And then 2 thirds minus 1 is equal to minus 1 third. And that is that differentiated. Now the next one is slightly more difficult again. And this one is y is equal to 3 over the root of x cubed. Now, again, we need to rewrite this. And what I would do, first of all, is say that this is just equal to 3 over x to the 3 over 2. And that's because it's being um, it's a power of 3, but it's also being square rooted. But again, we can rewrite this because anything over x just means that we have to make it take the reciprocal. So this means that 3x is going to be to the minus 3 over 2. Now, therefore, if you want to take dy by dx, we're going to have to follow exactly the same pattern as we did before. So 3 times by minus 3 over 2 is equal to minus 9 over 2. And then that's times by x. And then minus 3 over 2 minus 1 is equal to minus 5 over 2. 
So the final one, of course, we've got adding and a bit of subtracting this, a few things that we've got to differentiate here. And again, the first thing that I always like to do is just make it easier, so rewrite it. So this can just be rewritten as three. Then the next part is going to be two over root x. Now that's two over um, x to the, my, uh, to the half, which means it's going to be two x to the minus half. Because again, we've got that um, over, which is making it minus. And then the next one, so 5 over root 3x squared, can be written as minus 5. And then that would be over x to the 2 thirds, which means that it's going to be minus 5x to the minus 2 thirds. Again, remembering to minus it as we've just taken it to the top now. Now again, what we need to do to this is differentiate. Now as three is just a constant and there's no x, we can't differentiate, so that is just gonna be zero. But then we can differentiate the other two parts. So firstly, we're gonna do minus a half times by two is just equal to minus one. So we don't need to put minus one, we just put minus x and then minus a half minus 1 is equal to minus 3 over 2 and this is going to be add this time because we've got a negative multiplied by a negative and minus 2 thirds times by minus 5 is equal to 10 over 3 that's times by x and then minus two thirds minus one is equal to minus five over three. And again, that is the derivative of three plus two over root uh, x minus five over the uh, cube root of x squared. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.